my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a kitchen tour video. I recently posted a picture of my kitchen and I got a lot of good feedback so I felt like let me just film and tell you guys where I got everything from. My husband is military so we do live in you know a military housing so this video is good for those who are also military that live in military housing you'll kind of see like some little things that i did to kind of customize my kitchen so it doesn't look so you know like bland and basic so if you just want to see where i got everything and you want to see this kitchen tour then just keep watching this is what i posted on facebook if you guys saw my holiday tour video then you probably saw like this centerpiece right here that i diy well i just kept that centerpiece because i'm so in love with it um i went to marshall's last week and i picked these up on clearance so i paid $1.99 for this and then for the bowl the matching bowl it was a dollar fifty in my favor they had four they had four of these like four of the bowls and four of the plates so I went and I got a whole set for like under twenty dollars and these are just so elegant looking they were originally five dollars a piece so I got a really 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 good deal with both of these basically what i did was i updated my tablescape and my holiday tablescape have more of like black gold white and silver i replaced the black with a like tiffany blue you guys know that i suffer from like panic disorder and anxiety and stuff like that and i just when it comes to colors colors mean a lot to me i really like bright and just nice cool colors it kind of just makes me feel calm and when i think of like that tiffany blue not only do i think of elegance and obviously expensive but just cool and inviting and calm and peaceful so that is why i decided to go with that color i tend to love pastels anyway i'm not really like a huge color person but when it comes to colors i'm not gonna lie i am a sucker for the pastels with that being said, I went to Hobby Lobby and today's date, what is today's date? Today's date is the 14th. So yesterday, Friday the 13th, um, I went to Hobby Lobby. They had these Tiffany blue like um, charter plates for, they're originally $2. I got them for one look how pretty all i did was stack the plate and the bowl on top of the charter plate that i got from hobby lobby and then this these two were actually from the dollar store i just cut this out this is actually like the stuff that you like put in your refrigerator to kind of keep stuff from sliding i don't even know what this is like called but that stuff and then the little placemat was from the dollar store the dollar tree as well and this is not sticky it's not like the peel and stick it's just like the rubber stuff <laughs> um that keeps stuff from sliding so i just cut them in squares and put them on top of the table runner and then i placed the charter plate and then the bowls i got from the bowl and the plate that i got from marshall's on top of that this was actually mine and my husband's like very first like plate set that we ever had like ever and so this also had like the tiffany blue but it has some like like chocolate brown in there and then the inside is like chocolate brown too and i thought this matched perfectly because in the plate but it has like some of that same like chocolatey like brown like cracked in the plate as well now i do have like a set of these like i have the plate the matching plates which also will be good i might switch those out like for spring or summer so i just thought that maybe just placing this right in here so it's actually a full set so whenever i have like you know friends or whatever over or even if i'm just having like a nice dinner with my family we can just sit here and everything is already here i love the way this turned out and of course it is a clearance fine because you know that's just how we do over here at this channel you guys have seen my room tour you guys kind of saw like the little duct tape that i did which is again rental friendly i got the duct tape right at walmart and it's like washi tape but it's actually by the duct tape brand so i use this to kind of create like a little geometric pattern and the tape was only like a dollar fifty it was so cheap and it just gave a pop of color especially when 
you either don't want to paint or you're not allowed to paint in your rental the table is from ikea it is like a bar high table it's kind of high and then i have just four you know same ikea like lack chairs i've actually had this rug forever i want to say i got the area rug from walmart but it's just a basic gray area rug this is a piece that i've been getting a lot of good feedback on this is actually just peel and stick adhesive paper i got this right from lowe's this is so good if you are whether you're a military housing or if you're just renting and you really don't like the countertops you can go right to Lowe's or even like Amazon or anywhere uh, and get some peel and stick. Make sure that you have the kind that's like kitchen friendly and stuff like that because you know they have like different kinds. Um, they're like wallpaper kind but this is good for the kitchen. So it says that this peel and stick adhesive is heat safe but to be completely honest with you guys I would just say just get like a cheap um, like a cheap cutting board and just put it on top and then when you're like you know messing with hot stuff or anything like that just place it on there just to be on the safe side I don't put anything hot on here I always have like a cutting board that I'm putting like my skillet or something on this will not damage if you guys peel it off when you guys are moving and you find that there's like extra stickiness just go with some rubbing alcohol and you know rub it down rub your countertops down after you remove the peel and stick and it'll take away the stickiness completely and it won't it won't mess up the surface that is underneath so i'm really happy with the way that turned out i love marble and it's just such a modern look i love like the modern like a more expensive -y, like z gallery type of look or anthropology i like stuff like that so that's why I went with the marble, but they had like chevron, they had colors, they had prints, polka dot, all different types that you can use on your countertops. And I've even seen people use it on their refrigerator. I didn't want to do that just because I didn't want to do marble. Mar like I don't want to have too much marble. Some people do like their microwaves. I've seen on Pinterest people like cover their cabinets and all that. I personally don't mind my dark cabinets. It's just like what was underneath. It just, it wasn't ugly, but it wasn't. It just kind of uh, like just kind of mad the table looks so expensive and elegant on a budget and I wanted to do that you know on the countertops and everything like that I have like this little frame which I got in like a pack that has like the gallery wallpaper so this says thankful everyday blessed beyond measure and it also has some of that same Tiffany blue like the lines I don't know if you guys can really tell but it has that same aqua -y type of color and it has like white and black which i didn't mind that because my table is black and then i just got these little balls from here one it act they actually were christmas ornaments and i got them 90 percent off last year but i took the string off and i just used it as like you know little little vase fillers i guess that's what you call it and i have a candle which is just vanilla and that little um, this little thing right here is from the dollar store. I'm sure if you guys have watched me and seen my channel before, you guys have seen this picture. I got this 90% off at Hobby Lobby. I only paid like seven bucks, like five or seven dollars for this. So cheap. Over here, I got this like marble tray from Marshalls. Of course, clearance. It was still kind of expensive on clearance. I want to say it was like 20 bucks but it's a very good heavy piece i just felt like this was like a really good buy and then i got some oceans um room fragrance oh my gosh smells so good you guys it just smells so clean and i got this on clearance too two dollars i kept this on <laughs> just to show you guys so after this video i will be removing that but two dollars this little cute little tiffany blue piece is from hobby lobby as well i got that last year i want to say i got this at a local thrift store in my town one dollar and i just spray painted the bottom gold the knives i mean you guys you know you can get that from anywhere <laughs> i have this cute little sugar thing they have like sugar flour and tea i got this one on clearance i paid two dollars for it the tea wasn't on clearance but the flower was but the flower didn't have the top so i didn't buy it so yeah that's just a wine glass and i put a candle in it and it's pumpkin spice we're in january so i feel like i could still go by with this but it smells really yummy and then i put some like 
measuring cups and some you know spoons and stuff like that which are the tiffany blue as well i have the diy eat that i did i did this like two years ago but i still have that that's still holding up strong i made this about two years ago coffee filter wreath so cheap it was a three dollar project and it still looks so elegant with like everything on the tables you guys look at this that piece right there was originally $17 at Kirkland's. I got it for $5 today. They have a great sale. Another 25% off the already clearance. So I got it for 5 bucks. I need to clean the mirror. I know. I just wanted to put it up for the sake of the video because I literally just got it a little while ago. This cute little calendar from the dollar spot at Target. I paid 3 bucks for it. Up here I have like some like open space above my cabinet. So I just placed like little DIY things that um, I did like a couple years back. Those two pieces are from Kirkland's and the flowers are from Hobby Lobby. And then those two I just DIY'd. Look at this piece. They're actually like my neighbors. They made this and I purchased it from them. You guys are not gonna believe me when I tell you this was only 10 bucks. It is a very heavy piece. So it's like a window. And they put shelves in it, and I just hung up, like, little DIY things. More of those Pier 1 balls, the little garland. on some like what can I do to make this my own I just wanted to come on here and just tell you guys and show you guys what I did to make this my home I really really love the way it turned out I don't have anything else to say I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video bye